Okay, so hello, welcome to this video. I'm currently in the middle of absolutely nowhere with my car and a dish on top. And we're gonna see if we can send Wi-Fi over seven miles. Ooh. Right, okay. What's going on? My name is Alex and welcome back to another video. I'm pretty sure the majority of you are gonna learn something today. Oh, and also, apparently 60% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so please, please change that. Hit that subscribe button and thanks uh, Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now, as I've explained before in a few videos, a part of the wireless job is going out and finding places that don't have good internet and then supplying them with with good internet. So today, I wanna try and do the impossible. I wanna try and spread a Wi-Fi link over eight miles. Now, I know there's gonna be people saying, Alex, you can't do this because you can't send Wi-Fi eight miles. It simply doesn't work. And well, with the right equipment, it will do. So let's just say we've got a house over here, right? Let's just say this is the core. And we're gonna go to the roof of this house and put on an antenna system. Now for, well, us to go and pick up this signal in the Defender, there is, that's my drawing of a Defender. We need what's called a clear loss. And loss stands for line of sight. So if there's something in between this and our car, like a hill, this isn't gonna work. However, if it's a clear line of sight and we can go like that, we should be able to receive the internet. So basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is this is going to work and it doesn't seem as far-fetched as you once thought. All you need is a clear line of sight. So welcome to the second floor of my garage. I built this out myself as kind of like a storage place. This shelf here is basically full of networking stuff. Look at how many POE injectors I have there. These are uh, all of my dishes. And one of these and a pole. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit interesting because I can well attempt to explain how this is gonna work. So. Scepter antenna. Now I'm trying to show you guys what's inside one of these antennas. Look, can you see that on there? It's just like two little prongs in there. And this is a 30 degree horn, which means, well, pretty much anywhere where I point this, you're gonna get about 30 degrees of coverage, which isn't a lot, but this should be able to push the internet really, really far. So that sector antenna needs to be mounted near my core network, which we'll do in a minute. And this is gonna be my CPE, or what's called customer premise equipment. And what I'm gonna do is stick it on this pole and... Uh... It's a good question, what am I gonna do with it? <laughs> this is gonna work. Everybody to the core. Hey, okay, so the OG ones of you will probably remember this loft. So at the weekend, about four days ago, I actually went through the gruelling procedure of putting all of my internet clients offline. Now I started the work Sunday morning, 7 a.m., so it wasn't that much of an inconvenience for everybody, and I rebuilt this entire rack right here. And this is what I managed to come up with, and the fact, the very fact, that I redid this rack, reorganized everything in here, it should make this so easy. Now hopefully you guys can see up here all of this nice and labelled. We've got L1, L2, L3 and R1, R2, R3. So there's two chimneys on this house. The L cables go to the left side and the R cables, well, you guessed it, they go to the right side, don't they? The right side, I'm hoping, is going to give us a clear line of sight between this house and the hill, hopefully where we're going. So I'm going to go right ahead here and plug into R number two. And then on the other side, out on the roof, all the cables are labeled two, so I just plug the new dish into the cable labeled R2. It's really that simple. 
Just so you all know and are aware, I am about to do something really, really, really stupid. Like, I am the world's stupidest person in the world. Please do not copy anything I'm about to do or anything in this video because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm about to work at height on the roof and putting my life at risk here. However, I pretty much know this roof like the back of my hand. I know that's not the point. Safety equipment. I've got this huge chain um, which I'm going to put round round. So now if I do fall, I am literally chained onto the roof. Now, this is where the exciting bit happens. If I take this away, we should see my spare cable and it should say on it R2. So now hopefully I can take this sector antenna, stick it on this pole and point it, point it that way. Okay. Not sure how well you guys can see that, but I've just plugged in the cable for this radio. We're pretty much done here. And we, well, we're gonna go somewhere over there, absolutely miles away. Okay, so I've got the laptop here. The dish is mounted on the roof, so that is all sorted. I'm safe. I wanna show you guys where I'm trying to go. And for those of you that are interested, there's the latitude and longitude of where I'm going to go to hopefully pick up the signal. Okay. Okay, so you lot know the plan, right? We're gonna drive to this location. We're gonna utilize what I've built on the roof. We're gonna stick in the pole. We're gonna stick the dish on the pole. I know that there'll definitely be a few of you guys that are gonna be saying, Alex, how are you gonna power the dish? Well, I installed some two 40 volt sockets in the Defender. So basically we can plug that into there and then we have a super long cable to go up to the roof, up to the dish when we get there and then this cable can plug into my laptop so we can run a speed test. Let's go. Okay, I'm pulled over. Okay, so for starters, right there, that is the moon. The sun is behind me, and over there is a village called Bleasby, where I've actually got a couple of internet clients. Now, my goal here is to try and bring the internet to this location, and then send it back down to Bleasby, because I think doing that, I can get a faster speed. Okay, so behold my little contraption, which is uh, facing miles out there. And we're in here. Everything seems pretty solid. Like <laughs> I bet the car's coming past the like, what is going on up here? <laughs> okay, so let's finally give the dish some power. What I'm gonna do is plug it directly into my laptop and see if we have internet and see if I can get online. If I can, you all need to click the like button because that is mental. Hey look, and all of my texts are coming in. Oh look, they're coming in through the cable. They're coming in through the dish. It's working. Okay, so as you can see here, I have picked up an IP address, which means if I open up a web browser, as you can see, that is YouTube and it was rapid. God, I haven't even had a chance to align this yet. Okay, I'm gonna log on to the radios and see what the signal is. So I haven't even aligned this yet, and as you can see, we're at minus 69, minus 71 on the signal. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is turn on the antenna alignment tool. Whoa! Whoa! We're on fire! Whoa! Okay, that seems to be about the best signal I can get. These are insane results, by the way. Insane. Okay, so I think that's the best uh, I'm going to be able to get out of the alignment of the dish. So I say now we go over to the computer, we go back to DHCP, and let's run a speed test. Okay, I've got Wi-Fi man loaded up, and I'm going to click enter now. 88 meg. 50 meg upload. Bear in mind, right, I have only aligned this side. I put the one on my family home and just pointed it where I thought I was going to be. Okay, with a result as good as that, with some alignment and some settings tweaking, I could definitely get about 150, 200 megabits per second up to this hill. And I can see so many places. I'm gonna have to go on Twitter and put a tweet on. I sending this tweet over a 5.6 km wireless link. 
Okay, mission success. This is so, this is this this is what is going on right now. <laughs> Now, I want to talk about those results that we got. The speed test chucked out about 85 megabits per second. We should have basically seen a whole load more than that. I could average anywhere from 200 to 400 meg on the signal that I got. Now, the reason it was only 85 was because the cable that I was using was maxing out at 100 meg and not a gigabit per second. But anyway, I hope this has been some sort of a practical insight as to what I do for a living and how it all works and when you know what you're doing with this gear, how easy it is. All you have to do is align it until it connects and then you're good. It's really that simple. It's good fun as well. Okay guys, so it's getting super dark outside. I need to go ahead and end this video and before we do that, we need to thank Squarespace for sponsoring. Now, as you lot will know, I have built all of my personal websites on Squarespace and you can see an example of a few of those on screen right now. I've been a paying customer for Squarespace for over five years now and there's good reason for that. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a website and it's super, super easy. They've got a huge range of pre-done templates that you can browse through. When you find one that you like, you can choose it, apply that to your website, but upload all of your own pictures, text, and images. You can go in and change HTML. Look, if all this sounds like something you would like and you'd like to save 10%, use my code MarsBar or simply go to squarespace.com forward slash MarsBarVlogs. But there you guys have it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.